In today's video, I'm gonna show you what I do to my lawn that I don't do to my customers' lawns. I run a weed control and fertilization business. And for the most part, I put the same exact products on my lawn that I do my customers' lawn, with one exception. And today, I'm gonna demonstrate the exception. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna tell you why I do it. And I wanna show you how easy it would be for you to do it if you wanna do the same thing in your situation. But this is not something that I just do to my yard. This is a commonly used practices on a lot of golf courses. And I think you'll understand if you stay to the end of the video. So let's get started right now. All right, I've got about three acres of Bermuda grass and I want to show you what it looks like. Uh, at least this is the back part. We basically have our own uh, soccer field slash driving range slash football field back here. And this was plugged. It used to be woods. We plugged it with grass and now you look at it as Bermuda. Well, here's what happens every year. Last year, I put a lot of fertilizer on my lawn for a couple of different reasons, uh, but I mean, it definitely made it grow. And so this year I'm like, I don't want to put that much fertilizer on the yard. And the reason is I just don't wanna to have to cut the grass as often as I do. Typically, I try to keep my lawn at an inch and a half early in the year, I've got this Bermuda lawn. Um, but as the grass begins to grow, it's very difficult to just keep it at an inch and a half. When we enter into the summer, I, I usually have to raise it a quarter of an inch ever so often. Uh, by the end of the year, I may be up to three inches. You can keep it an inch and a half or even lower as those that real mow their lawn uh, can attest to. Uh, but it requires very frequent mowing. Well, one thing that helps whether you're mowing it short or mowing it long is using a growth regulator. You may say, Jason, what's a growth regulator? I'm gonna show you the specific one I'm using. I'm gonna show you how to mix it and then we're gonna apply it and then I'm gonna tell you, you know, why the growth regulator, what it does to lawn and why it is beneficial in my situation. Some of you know the follow the channel know that I'm, I'm an X Mark and Z Turf Equipment Ambassador. And last year they hooked me up with this Z Spray. This is a 2023 mid model and you'll get to see it in action. But here is the product that I'm using and this is called Podium. Now, the active ingredient here is, you can see the active ingredient here. It'd be better for you just to read it than me to try to pronounce that. Uh, and there's other products that are gonna have that same active ingredient. But as we open it up, and the label, it's gonna tell you how much you need per, uh, you know, for whatever kind of grass you're using. So let me find that page. And you'll see here, and I've got this 419 Bermuda. All right, here we go. Here's what we're looking for. Podium application rates. I don't know how well it's showing up on the video, but I can read it to you. Over here is my cool season. Over here is warm season. So on Bermuda grass, Tiffway 419 Bermuda, it says 16 ounces per acre. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna be mixing up in here. Now, fortunately on the, now the Z-Spray I've used enough to, to know my calibration on there, but it also conveniently, I can flip the seat around, it has a chart that tells you based on what nozzles you're using and what speed you're driving it, uh, what kind of application rate you're going. So for me, the way I've got it set up, it's gonna be 0.28 ounces per thousand square feet. So what I'm gonna do is do a little math. I can actually show you the math if you, if you want to. All right. So here's, here's, how, here's how we'll do this, 40, I'm gonna do 40 divided by 0.28 divided by 43.56. There's 43,560 square feet in an acre. So it's gonna tell me, what that tells me is that if I fill it up those 40 gallons, I'm gonna cover 3.27 acres, okay? I told you I got about three acres of grass, so that should be plenty. Uh, and then if I multiply that, what was the rate? We read 16 ounces per Bermuda here. So, so on a Bermuda lawn, it was 16 ounces per acre. So we're looking at 52 ounces is what I need to put in there. So let me fill it up, 52 ounces. I'm gonna put 26 ounces in each side uh, with 20 gallons of water on each side and let it agitate, get it nice and mixed up and then we'll, we'll spray the yard. As some of you know too, that would do watch my videos. I'm not a great video editor, but on stuff like this, I get somebody else to edit it because what I want to do is show me riding on the machine and do the voiceover where I can kind of explain to you what I'm doing while I'm riding. And I, uh, so anyway, that's not my editing skills. That's somebody else that does that. All 
All right, so here's the things that I believe you should know when it comes to spraying a growth regulator. Let me say this to start with. There, there are growth regulators for shrubs too. You think about shrubs that grow a lot, grow fast, need a lot of trimming, boxwoods, iliagnus, or ugly agnus as we call them sometimes, uh, holly bushes, things of that nature. You can spray, it's a different product, but they, they make growth regulators for that. And you say, well, how does the growth regulator work? Well, I'm not a, a chemist or a botanist, but my understanding is it takes the energy that the plant is using, and instead of it growing vertically, it takes some of that same energy and, and makes it grow more horizontally and even grow deeper roots. So you say, is it harming the grass? What I, my understanding, what I've been told is no, um, that it actually can help the grass with a deeper root system that could help it be more drought tolerant. Uh, and you say, you know, is it is it going to hurt it, keep it from spreading? I've heard also that it could actually help uh, it spread and fill in in some thin areas, but it definitely reduces the amount of mowing. Now, what kind of reduction in mowing are you going to get? Again, a lot of people that real mow their grass do this or golf courses. You can see how this would work on a putting green that was uh, to reduce the amount of mowing or so that you can keep it nice and tight. And the rates are different for different grasses. You know, on St. Augustine, it's going to be a lower rate than Bermuda. You can think about Bahia grass, if you're familiar with it. It puts up a seed head really fast. So um, you're going to have to use a high rate to reduce the Bahia grass to kind of suppress the seed head. This is something that people also do with cool season lawns. You know, let's say you got Poa annua in a cool season lawn. Now, how do you get rid of it? Well, there's not a lot of uh, herbicides that are good at doing that but what you could do is spray it with growth regulator keep it from putting up the seed head and it, it doesn't look as bad um, but as far as reduction in mowing practically speaking I'm gonna do this uh, if I was trying to do this all the time on my yard I would probably spray it like once a month during the peak growing season so for a cool season lawn that may be in the spring and, and maybe in the fall, I don't know, but definitely in the spring when it's growing like crazy. For us with warm season lawns, I'm doing it like May, and if I was gonna do it once a month, it'd probably be like May, June, July, August, and maybe September. So you're know, looking at maybe four to five applications a year. Now you don't have to do it that much. I've heard people say they use a half rate and do it twice as often, get better results. I've heard people say that doing it the first time, it might not work as good, but on the second application it works better. You know, I personally, I haven't seen like great noticeable difference in it, like filling in bare areas, but definitely reduces the amount of mowing. And I would say reduces the amount of growth by about 50%. Okay, so it, let's just say if I was cutting my grass, you know, once a week, I might still cut it once a week if I want, but it, it's going to be a lot easier to cut because it's not going to grow as fast. Or I could go, you know, 10 to 14 days and cut it and it would have, have grown up then. So however you want to look at that. The other thing it might be worth knowing is some people say this, and, and again, I'm not sure I've seen this as much. They say that, you know, when you quit using it, okay, let's say you spray it one time and it's kind of storing up all that energy and you know maybe using deeper roots and all that. but whenever it wears off then it has a kind of a growth spurt and it might start growing like crazy so be prepared for that if you if you want to i think another thing worth mentioning on this is they said on on the label you can check the label but it looked like it was almost double the rate or maybe even slightly more than double if you were talking about just doing the perimeter so you could do that so for instance i've got some areas that i don't like to mow because it's in an inconvenient spot i slowed down on purpose to put a, a heavier application on there um, i think there is a, a risk of a slight discoloration by using this i personally don't think i've seen that either but if you wanted to reduce the amount of edging or uh, trimming or whatever and, and just spray it on those areas you could use a heavier rate and not worry about the rest of it. Think about how this could be handy, like if you were maintaining a cemetery plot that had all these cemetery plots, headstones uh, that you needed to get out there and, and trim around. You know, a product like this could greatly reduce the amount of labor, you know, from a business standpoint, the amount of labor. I've even thought, I haven't done this, but you know, if I was like a full service uh, lawn care company that wanted to mow grass and do uh, weed control and fertilization, all that. I think you could put together a package deal where you include this in there. And so basically, 
you were able to mow the grass every two weeks instead of weekly, cut down your label by adding this. As long as it looks good, and I think as it looks good, the customer could be happy. So that, you know, there's a way you could use it to reduce labor. The other thing you think, why don't I do this on my customer's lawns? Well, you know, I, I'm a big on when I run my weed control and fertilization business, want to be very efficient. So like, ideally, I want to go to one neighborhood and do the same thing to all the yards that day where I can get 20, 25 yards done in the same day. You know, that's why I don't necessarily love like aeration, not that it's um, from a business standpoint. Like, I, you know, if I go get two yards over here and got to drive and go do two more, you know, I just don't know that I can get enough customers in the same area to sign up for. So that's what I feel about this. It's like one, you got to have a, a separate, you got to empty your tank, put this in there to go spray it. I mean, I guess technically you could mix it in with, with a, another application if you were doing a liquid application. But I don't know there's enough people that's going to sign up for it to where it's worth it, just to be honest with you. So I use it on my own lawn. I, I do, um, I, I even think on my own lawn, like, what does it cost me to cut my grass? I've got a uh, 60 inch zero turn mower, it takes me about an hour and a half to mow it. That's not counting trimming and things of that nature, which I don't do every time just because it is a good amount to do. And I think, well, what does that cost me in gas and time? And versus if I do that and I this, there's a cost to the product. And I can put a link to the to the product or a similar product in the description below. But uh, my time's worth something and and this is gonna reduce the amount of mowing. And you know, again, there's a cost to the product, but it's actually it's not outrageous. And if you got a small yard, it doesn't cost that much at all. And again, on different grass types, at St. Augustine grass, it'd be a significantly lower rate. So you're that obviously is gonna make it cheaper as well. So hopefully I've introduced you to something that you weren't exposed to before and uh, at least learned something of, of what golf courses do, what I'm doing, and taught you something that you didn't know. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hopefully I'm gonna reduce my mow and get this yard looking nice and green. I'm not gonna go crazy on fertilizer this year because I don't wanna mow it so often and this growth regulator can help that. If you wanna get a weed control fertilization like me and you need some resources or even start a mowing business, mosquito spraying business, go to LawnCareLife.com. There's resources there, including the weed control and fertilization academy. It's also where you'll find information about the Lawn Care Life Conference. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe, share it, like it, and we'll see you guys in the next one.